Hey everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as a customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today, we're going to be working on a 2020 Dodge Journey. We're going to be taking a look at, and I'll be showing you how to install, eTrailer's Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. Now, adding a hitch to the back of your Journey is going to be an awesome upgrade. This is going to allow us to really extend our outdoor activities, being that we can use a bike rack. Maybe we're currently stuffing our bikes in the rear or on the roof. It's going to be a lot easier to live with a hitch mounted bike rack. That way we can just get those bikes out of our cab and making more room for us and our passengers. Or we need a cargo carrier to get some luggage or maybe big bulky coolers, anything like that. We can get that out of our vehicle and make a little bit more room for us and our passengers as well. And we're even going to be able to tow a trailer. Now, if you are planning on towing a trailer, now would be a great time to add some wiring to your cart. And you can find that here at eTrailer. And as you can see back here, most of our hitch is going to be visible. So you do want to keep that in mind. We're going to be seeing our, most of our cross tube and a good portion of our receiver tube. But I don't think it takes away from the look of the vehicle. Our hitch is going to be a steel construction, so it's going to be nice and strong for a long time. We're also going to have this really nice matte black powder coat finish. It gives it a nice appearance as well, and it's going to help protect against rust and corrosion. We're going to have this nice reinforced steel collar. That's going to add some stability, but also gives it a nice finished look. Like I said, this is a class three, so we're going to get that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, which is, which is awesome because that's going to accommodate a lot of different hitch mounted accessories. Now moving over to the side, we are going to have a 5 8 pin hole, which is going to accept a standard 5 8 inch pin. You do want to keep in mind, a pin and clip aren't included, but you can find one here at eTrailer. We are going to have the plate style safety chain loops. These are going to be steel, so they're going to be strong as well. These are going to accept a good variety of different safety chains out there. And as far as our weight capacities are concerned, one cool thing about this hitch is you are able to use weight distribution, but our towing capacity and tongue weight rating isn't going to increase. Now our towing capacity is going to be 4,000 pounds. You want to keep in mind that's going to be the weight of the trailer and the load on the trailer. We are going to have a 400 pound tongue weight rating, so that's going to be 400 pounds pushing straight down our receiver tube. And that's pretty good because we're going to be able to get at least four bikes back here. But you do want to make sure to check with your owner's manual and make sure that your journey is capable of towing at those capacities. And if there is a difference, always go with the lowest number. Now we can get a few measurements for you to help you understand where this hitch is going to sit on the back of your journey. From the ground to the uppermost part of our receiver tube is going to be about 13 and a half inches. This number is important for any hitch mount accessories because you want to make sure that you're going to have ground clearance and this is going to help you know if your ball mount needs to be in the rise or lowered position. From the center of our pinhole to the outermost part of our fascia is a little over three inches and this number is important for any folding accessories because we want to make sure that they're not going to make contact with our rear fascia. All in all, this is going to be a great upgrade to the back of your journey. It's going to be an awesome way to get all of your favorite toys with you, whether you're going to the lake, camping, or anything like that, or even for just day-to-day -day use. Now, in terms of installation, getting our hitch installed is going to be pretty simple. There's no drilling, cutting, welding, or anything like that. It's definitely something that you guys are going to be able to do at home. And with that being said, let's head in the shop, and I'll show you how to get it installed now. To begin our installation, we need to support our exhaust. We're going to do this using a cam buckle strap. You can find one of these here at eTrailer if you don't have one. We're going to take one hook, put it through our coil and our suspension. We'll run that over to the other side, repeat that same process. Then we just want to snug this down up against our exhaust pipe. We now need to drop down our exhaust. And to do that, we're going to be removing an exhaust hanger on each side of our muffler. If your vehicle is a dual exhaust, you'll need to do this on both sides. We just want to spray down these hangers with some spray lubricant. You can also use soapy water if you don't have any lubricating oil at home. We then want to grab a pry bar. We're going to start on our outside hanger. We're just going to pry against our actual muffler to get that hanger off. We'll repeat that same process on the other side of our muffler, but you will need to remove this strap. It just fastens up here to our exhaust hanger. To remove that, you'll just kind of pry it off the back side. And on this model, we do have one more hanger, so we'll remove that the same way. We then want to relieve some pressure on our strap, lowering down our exhaust. Right there should be good. That's going to give us enough room to get to our frame rails. We now want to grab one of our pull wires. We'll take that coiled end, feed it to the end of that hole in our frame rail, and we'll pull it out this side. And then on this rearmost bolt for each side, we're going to be using the bigger spacer block. You want to slide that over the pull wire and then thread on our carriage bolt. We're then going to take that whole thing, push it up into the frame rail, 
and then pull it back down and through. We'll repeat that same process on the other side. Now we need to fish wire our hardware into the frame rail. We're going to start with our rearmost hole. We're going to feed that pull wire up to this big square opening. We're going to get that pulled through. And in this case, we're going to be using the smaller spacer block. We're going to thread on that carriage bolt. We'll pull the whole thing through the frame rail. Just like so. We'll repeat that same process for this hole and the exact same thing on the other side. Our kit's going to include these angled spacers. We want to grab these and we want the slope facing the rear just like that. To make it a little bit easier on ourselves, we're going to tape this to our hitch before we install it. So you can just grab some packing tape, run it around there. Then we'll just cut that hole out using a knife. We'll be doing this for both sides. Now with an extra set of hands, we want to start lifting our hitch up into position. We're going to feed those pull wires through the according holes in our hitch. Once we get those pull wires through, we'll start lifting our hitch up into position. Then we just want to unthread our pull wire, or you can pull it off if you'd like. Then we just want to grab one of our flange nuts and carefully get that started. Once we get one start on each side, the hitch will be able to support itself. Now with all of our flange nuts started, we can come back with a 19 millimeter socket and wrench and start getting our hardware tightened down. Now I just want to come back and torque down our hardware to the amount specified in our instructions. Now we just want to reinstall our exhaust hangers in the reverse order we took them apart. Then we just want to come back and remove our cam buckle strap. And with our exhaust reinstalled and the cam buckle strap gone, that's going to do it for our look at and our installation of eTrailer's Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on your 2020 Dodge Journey.